While Google paid $500 million for an imaging satellite company, you might have missed the loneliness of automation, how Stanford could cheaply diagnose diseases, and cyborgs doing it better. This episode is presented by Toyota. With purposeful design, breakthrough efficiency, and state-of-the-art technology, the all-new Prius Prime Electric Hybrid is the most advanced Prius yet. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where scientists studying walking were able to improve efficiency by 7% by strapping a spring onto the lower leg of humans. This is something we could have used at CES, where some staff members averaged 27,000 steps each day. I still have blisters. Do you remember whirly gigs? One Stanford engineering student was so enamored of his favorite childhood toy, he mimicked the shape to create a crazy low-cost, human-powered blood centrifuge. But this is a tool that requires no electricity, no infrastructure. You can carry them around in your pockets. Those are the things that can detect diseases like malaria, African sleeping sickness, HIV, and tuberculosis. Estimates for the super cheap blood plasma and red blood cell separator put it at 20 cents each, which means it could help treat the poor in off-the-grid regions in ways they have never been supported before. We call it a paper fuge. We take two pieces of either PVC pipe or wooden handles, and then you just pull on it gently. Also, apparently bioengineers at Stanford say it's the fastest rotating human-powered centrifuge ever because Stanford. And finally, you know how everyone is talking about the threat to middle-class jobs actually being autonomy, not foreign workers? Well, feast your eyes on this example of robot depression imagined by artist Michael Markzewski. You can see robots cannot keep up with their workload, just like the humans they're supposed to replace. That blood spurting out? Real bummer. See you tomorrow.